Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of markrushtongallery.com. And it is Tuesday, April, April 5th, 2022. And uh, this video is called Dealing with New Interface Overload. And that's, my gosh, the last six weeks, two months, month, something like that. It's been nothing but new interface overloads. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I don't think it'll take too long, but like uh, uh, with every video here, I try to start off with the Instagram picture of the day out of my Instagram, which is at Mark Rushton. And today, thicket in the form of an acrylic print. And so, you know, I love these acrylic prints. Really ought to have it in my hand to show it off here because I do have it in my hand here, but showed off here on the butcher block in the kitchen. And, uh, I just, I just love these things, you know, that and the metal prints. And, um, you know, when I get back to doing live stuff or at least, I mean, you know, I'd love to do some pop-up art shows in 2022 and get, you know, get some of these things printed up. And, um, you know, the, the things like the, um, the acrylic and the metal. I don't think most people see these sorts of things, right? I don't think the, you know, when you go into a, like most stores, you don't see things like this. And so I think if you put this before the public and in, of course, in a very pretty image like this and show them, you know, how it can be hung and everything. Uh, I, th I think people would, uh, would jump at it. I think they would like that sort of thing. I think this stuff would go flying off the shelves, but, who knows, right? And then, of course, the painting has to be of a certain type and a style. And I don't know whether this is everybody's cup of tea or not. The uh, colorful abstract landscapes. But, you know, don't we all have a place in our house where you need that splash of color? I'm just saying. All right. On to the uh, main topic here, which is uh, dealing with new interface overload. I have been. I, I, I Listen, I just I climbed the wall in the last day here with uh, MailChimp. And I used MailChimp a long, long time ago, and I have to use them again for my my email list, which I have not sent an email out on in some time because transferring systems and how does this work and how does it integrate? You do certain things on MailChimp and you do th other things on uh, the back end of my uh, Mark Rushton Gallery and Art Store. But back on MailChimp, uh, some of the things that they they do with regard to templates and campaigns and you know campaign is like you know sending out an email uh it's a lot it's a lot and then when you send a test email why is this looking wrong and then you figure it out you figure it out you know it it's not easy for me and i've been a software tester in my day job here for you know over 25 years so but I'll I'll go through everything and I'll you know hit the wall and I'll be like ah oh, I need to talk to tech support or something like that not Mailchimp tech support because if you are on Mailchimp you're on the free version after 30 days you you can't talk to anybody you get it you have to figure it out or give up or go over to Email Octopus which is what I did many years ago it's a very good system they're a very good free system free free you pay for it one way or the other really though but. Anyway, worked through it, worked through it in the last day here. And uh, I think I finally got my templates down. I'll be sending out an email very soon for the, uh, with regard to the gallery and the live shows and just, you know, all the new stuff because, uh, excuse me here. Because I don't think, uh, I think a lot of people uh, who are on the mailing list, maybe, maybe they don't know about that sort of thing. Right, I got friends and family and people who follow me on Instagram and like things and stuff know about it. Maybe they take the deep dive. Maybe they show up for a few seconds and take a look at everything that's going on around here. And and they do that sort of stuff. But you know, it's just things like Mailchimp, which you know, once you get going, I'm sure everything is going to be fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. But everything just. Just getting to the point of being able to get this, get the artwork on the screen. Wow, wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. 
you know, all the back end on the on the art store. And how do you how do you handle print as, print aspect ratios? It's all new to me. And then the, the different applications that I use, paint.net, the, the Microsoft video photo thing. Just even, you know, just all that stuff. That scanner. I, I just got to find my new groove, you know. I, I got out of it for too long. I got out of it for too long. And it's just, it's the, you pay the price. You climb that wall again. It's stressful. But I'm coming along here. I'm coming along here. And tonight, tonight I will do my uh, my fourth live art show. And uh, not quite sure when that'll be. It might be later, kind of like Friday. I got some stuff I've got to do this afternoon or late in the afternoon. So it may take me a little while, but I'll be thinking about things in my head. And I'll, I'll come back and I'll do the show. The early shows are just practice anyway. And then, yeah, all the stuff I had to... <laughs> I had to learn with StreamYard and and ugh, so much stuff. But, you know, if you want to do this sort of thing, if you want to get to this point and then build on that, be a working artist, you know, whether or not you sell things regularly, it's uh, it's stuff you need to, to learn. It's the same with the music side. The same with the music side. You know, I've, I've coached and mentored and cajoled and, uh, tried to help out other musicians over the years locally and on the internet. And uh, it's the same thing. You know, I say things like, you know, you need a Spotify account. You need to have accounts on the other streaming services. You need to build playlists. You need to do things a certain way. You need to do things at a certain frequency. I know I, I learned that by trial by fire. And that's why the company that's, uh, that handles the, uh, the art store and provides, you know, essentially my, uh, yeah, down here, art storefronts. Yeah, I'm going to talk about them eventually. They've been great. They've been great. But they just, they, you know, you just got to, they just, they crack the whip. They crack the whip. And most artists don't like that. I just, I just want to make paintings and, and put them up there and, you know, have people buy them or whatever. That's fine. But, you know, but where's your audience? So, I don't know. Half the time when I'm going around here, I, you know, I, I, I just, this is, this right here. This is, this is, this is what the artist wants to be, right? This is just what we want to be out on the street doing our little drawings and stuff and leave us alone and just have somebody it's one person watching Can we just have one person watching i now realize what this means here there's a whole lot of other stuff going on here too and where it's where the the picture was taken from and what time and everything like that but the, the, the now that i've looked at this for some time period this is this is this is the hard road of the artist. It's you know. But look at that. She's she's enjoying. She's out there at 1 a.m. doing her drawings, doing uh portraits or I, who knows what she's doing there. You can barely tell it's so grainy and everything. And then the college kid walking by, just taking a look, just taking it in. Wow, look at that. That's where we are out here, you know. We're just we're kinda we're kinda out here. We this is what we get. I just stumbled into this. I didn't even think I didn't even think about that. It's just been percolating in my head here for the longest period of time. Anyway, we're coming up on 10 minutes. I really don't want this to be any longer, but yeah, the dealing with new interface overload. Yeah, you're just gonna have to take a deep breath and step back and walk through it and deal with your processes and, and, and systems and interfaces and what how, what do I click this and plug in that and whatever? I feel old, right? I feel old. One thing that I'm going to have to do lately is, uh, ah, we're not, not going to go into that, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is perfect here. Anyway, a live art show later today. Talk to you later. Thanks for showing up. Those who did.